This coil needs to be anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 ohms. So we got to be in that range. And if we're in that range, we're going to rule this out and we're going to move forward to our magnetic pickup because that's suspect next. So now that we got our four screws removed, let's go ahead and lift this bad Larry up just like that. Now, you guys see this connection right here? What we're going to do is we're going to put our multimeter here and then we're going to put our other lead of our multimeter on the negative strap that secures to the actual body of the coil. So we're going one lead here and then one lead here and we should be between six and 10,000 ohms. We're using the test men. This is an auto range. It automatically knows what we're trying to test. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and set your meter to ohms. Now, once you've set your meter to ohms, I want you to take one of your leads and place it here right on the center of this coil. And then you're gonna come on this side to your eyelid lead. And you're gonna press it on there like this. And what do we got? 796, perfect. We are well within spec. There's nothing wrong with this coil. Again, anything below 6,000s is bad. Anything above 10,000s is bad. We are right in spec. Let's move forward to the magnetic pickup.